Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm doing a bullet journal spread, which I am so excited about. I haven't done a bullet journal for a while. I used to do them all the time, but I have I stopped doing it just because it took me so long to do because I am so fussy. I have to get every page right. If something goes wrong, I rip it out, do it again, which is terrible. I shouldn't be this fussy. <laughs> But I am going to get back into it because I enjoy it and it motivates me to get my stuff done just so I can take stuff off in my little book. <laughs> this uh, bullet journal I bought from Amazon, I will link it down below if you do want to check it out. It is 160 uh, GSM, it's very thick paper which I really wanted because I want to experiment and try and do some watercolour in this one. Um, hardcover leather 160 pages and it says is marker and pen com uh, crafted for marker and pens um, I don't think I'm gonna use any markers in this just because markers always bleed through and I absolutely hate that but definitely gonna try some watercolor so if you want to see that I will do that next month if you want to check that out please subscribe so you can see that video when I put it out because there was gold on the cover, I decided to color the edges of the pages uh, gold as well, just to make it all matching and nice. Uh, I used um, gold uh, ink, acrylic ink, which came out very nice. Uh, it was I only did one layer and it was very visible, which was nice. Um, the, for this spread, the September spread, I'm gonna do everything. This uh, I'm gonna try and keep the same color scheme going for every month. So for this month, I decided to do gold brownish colors. So these pages I got from an old book, which I got from a charity shop, which was already uh, ripped apart. So I. I don't like uh, ripping pages out of a book, it does really hurt me when people do this, but this one was already damaged, so it's fine, I think. <laughs> so um, I started out by just uh, taking those pages down. Would they, I know they're brownie colors, but that's the scheme I'm going for, like brownie gold colors, and I do use black, so the color scheme is brownie gold black colors. <laughs> So I sketched out my design. I want to do a title page just saying September on the right. And um, I'm going to put a little court on the left. And I'm going with flowery designs for the whole year. So every month is going to be different colors, but the whole theme of the book is just going to be flowers. I'm not gonna do different designs because that just takes too long trying to find designs that you like and figure out what to do for each month so I thought for the whole year I just keep it to flowers and um, you can see my little sketch here and I found this little cute washi tape which was a brownie color as well so I stuck that in and here we go with some inking uh, this gold pen i will link it below as well it was amazing but in the video it looks a bit green it, it's not in person in person it's very gold i'm not sure why it came out looking like this on the video but uh that's uh, how i did all the flowers i did a few gold leaves and black line work for the rest of them the pages um, because they're very thick none of the mm, it was very it was very thick and smooth actually so pen work was amazing on there so the pens I use are the uni pens I get them from Amazon I usually buy a big pack of 0.05 because that's the one I use the most <laughs> I love doing little details and line work so that one gets used up a lot so I buy a big pack of that one and a pack of the full set as well. 
I think in this spread I only used the 0 0.05 to do all the line works. As you can see, um, I do go in and do very close line work, so um, using a thicker pen would have just made it all merge together and look like a big blob. So that's why I used that pen for all of it. I had to spread, uh, speed up a lot of this video because it did take me a long time to do all the line works and it does. <laughs> I had to chop up the whole video a lot so I hope that is okay. I did try and leave some of the video on real time just so you get a sense of how long it does take me to do line work like this. But if you do prefer um, to watch everything in um, real time, please comment and let me know. Or if you don't mind it being sped up. And here is how it looked with uh, the line work done. I did go back in and add more leaves just because I thought it was still a bit empty. This is what I'm saying <laughs> about me taking so long. I just can't help myself. I don't like leaving uh, blank spaces. I want to fill them up with as much as I can. So it does take me a long time. But at the end, I, I love how it looks. So I don't mind doing it, it just sometimes if I don't have time and I just want to do something quick it is easier just to take notes in a notebook. So for the September spread um, I did try and write it um, vertically, is it vertically or horizontally? <laughs> but it didn't work, uh, it didn't fit, I could have made it fit if I made the lettering small but then it would look looked odd because it would be blank pages, uh, there would be a lot of blank space. So I put it in diagonally and used the gold pen to fill it all in. The pen was um, running out, it wasn't working properly so I had to go back in with the gold acrylic ink and fill them all in. Which was nice uh, because it was faster to do and it looks more gold because the pen as I said does look a bit green is weird <laughs> it doesn't in person I promise it's just in the video it does look a bit more green than the acrylic ink does after that I use my stamps I have a lot of these which I never use because I always draw everything in but I wanted to use them so I put a little butterfly stamp in there and I had a gold butterfly sticker which I also stuck on at the top as you can see the butterfly is a bit crooked <laughs> on one side which I was trying to fix but it's fine I guess um, and then I for the quote I wrote make it a September to remember which is the first thing that popped up when I searched September quotes which is nice because September is my birthday and I am planning to make it a September to remember for sure. <laughs> um, if you have any quotes, um, good quotes for me for next month, please let me know because I am terrible at finding them. <laughs> and here it is, here's how the spread came out. It's a bit over the top, I know, but I do always go over the top on the first page. For the second one, um, second spread, I did um, the September months, some scrap paper, a little notepad on the side for any notes or important dates, some stickers and a drawing of a flower. And for 
the daily spread I only did a to-do list Monday to Friday it's very simple when I do my daily spreads just because I do uh, fill them in as I go and I like to do a drawing uh, showing what happened on that week so that's why it's so empty and here's a little flip through for you guys I hope you enjoyed this let me know what you think and uh, if you liked it please give it a like subscribe and make sure you put the bell on to catch me and uh, during the next month's video thank you guys love you bye